Hey guys, Oster, and welcome back to the new and improved Minecraft mod showcases here on the channel. The reason why I'm saying that is because a certain mod has finally updated to 1.15, and I'm proud to announce that the Just Enough Items mod has finally updated. Now we can view all the recipes that we ever would want all over again. Yeah, for those who don't know, this mod has not updated. For a while, it's been in 1.12 forever. You guys all know it. It's always been used in mod packs and well whatnot, but for some reason, it was not updating. It finally has. This is not a mod showcase on this mod. I'm just saying it's finally updated. I might do a mod showcase on this mod if I feel like it, but for the most part, we don't need it. It needs no introduction. You guys know what it is. I'm actually not used to looking at it in 1.15 because I'm seeing a lot of items that I'm not used to seeing on this page. But um, yeah, it, it's updated. It's here. Uh, I will try to provide a download for it in the description if I remember to add it in. I know I always have like those mods there. Um, if I can, I will have it. Otherwise, just nag me about in the comments if you need it. Otherwise, we're going to be showcasing the Super Tools mod today. I know it's a kind of like plain-esque mod title, but it, it essentially adds in a ton of extra tool, like armor sets, Ar armor and armor weapon slash tools um that's the best i can say and i'm actually i need to tab out real quick because i don't have uh the, now the other window's open hopefully that didn't cut the recording i hate using geforce just because of that it, it breaks up if i go to another tab but all right so the tools that we're working with today we have lapis quartz obsidian redstone emerald and something known as the, the super tools um set which we will get to at the end but um, right now, we're just going to show off the regular tools. We also have these wooden sickles, which have... Um, I'm trying to read. Um, they have basically a 3x3 three three working area and will cut every grass, plants, and crops in one um, click. Uh, yeah, that seems to be their case. So if you wanted to harvest like grass or something in the area, it, it just does that. So it cleans up the area for you. So we have the wooden stone golden iron and diamond and of course each set will have one as well and how you craft this is a stick and any wood planks like that for the wooden one the stone you need a stick and cobblestone gold gold iron iron diamond diamonds so pretty self-explanatory how you get the sickles but those are the new tool added into this now i'm not sure if i have this mod in my uh project neo series mod pack so if not this will be added in dlc one which is coming up soon which i'll explain that in later today's episode of that but i digress quartz of course the axes are the strongest so we got a quartz axe with nine attack damage and the sword six attack damage i won't show off the rest you guys can just pause if you need to read them but how you craft this is how you would expect you use quartz like so with the sticks to make the representative tools and there you go um next up we have emerald which is stronger than quartz of course same deal you will just kind of put the emerald how you how you would normally how you normally wield it and um 10.5 attack damage on the axe and 7.5 for the sword now this actually has an armor set to go with it oh i should show off the quartz one first so the quartz armor set is how you'd craft normal armor you guys can read the armor and armor toughness as i panel to each one um it's a mouthful if i go over it all but i figured you guys can just kind of look at it of course here is the emerald set like so Moving on, we have the Obsidian set, um, which is very similar to the Emerald. You might know slight differences, but you would just need Obsidian blocks to craft this. Um, and that's how you craft those. And here is the Obsidian armor, like so. Next up is Lapis, which is actually weaker, um, which is interesting. It seems to be under like the iron capabilities of weaponry, which is very interesting. And of course, the set you craft just with Lapis like you normally would. Um, redstone set there you go as you can see you will just use redstone like so i'm kind of interested it's not using redstone blocks now um i have a few things to read about the different sets so redstone set redstone tools are very fast but they've got almost no, no durability um emerald tools are almost the same as diamond but they are a bit faster and do more damage as you can tell um obsidian tools got more durability than diamond but they are a bit slower so as you can see the speeds will be i should have had diamond here as a reference but i apologize for that course tools got less durability but are and are slower than diamond but therefore you will get better enchantments on the lower levels so if you want to use quartz it's so, kind of like how uh, gold is more enchantable same with quartz um lapis tools have a bit more durability than stone same mining speed as iron 
but also you get better enchantments. So again, more enchantable, more affordable. Um, and I already read the sickle one. So that is that. Now on to the different armor sets. So obsidian and emerald give you the same, give you full armor points. So if you wear them, you'll get the full, you know, armor. Lapis armor only gives you five and a half armor points. That's that one. Um, obsidian and quartz armor, which are these two, give you fire resistance when you wear the full set. Obsidian also gives you a slowness level two effect and resistance when you have the full set. So if you wear the full obsidian, you will be slightly slower, but you have resistance. Um, quartz armor gives you seven and a half armor points and is also equal to iron armor. So this is iron armor. Then these are all their own properties. So that's pretty cool. Um, and I think... I think that's it for the regular. Time to move on to the final. Oh, by the way, if you guys like living in a taiga biome, I literally, the seed, this gen goes on forever, it seems. This taiga forest. Or what's this actually called now? Taiga. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So if you guys want to live in this biome, there you go. All right, so on to the final most important set, the super set or the super tools. These are what the entire mod is based off of. So I'm going to go from right to left just to show the weakest. So super sickle, you will need a diamond two gold and a lapis or lapis and a blaze rod for a super hoe one attack damage you would need a gold ingot and one diamond and two blaze rods for the super pickaxe which is 5.5 attack damage you will need two gold ingots a diamond and two blaze rods for the super shovel you need a gold ingot and two blaze rods for the super sword you will need a diamond a gold and a blaze rod. i feel like i'm making the inventory pets with this um for the axe that does 10.5 i forgot to say the sword does 7.5 i think uh, the diamond, or the super axe, I should say, that does 10.5 attack damage, you will need two gold ingots, one diamond, and two blaze rods. For the cup that does 10.5 attack damage, you will need four diamonds and four gold ingots. And for, finally, the special cup um, that has 11 attack damage, you will need a nether star, the regular cup, two gold, two lapis, and three diamonds. Now, let's talk about these real quick. Um... These tools are all better than diamond. They're supposed to be made at end game. Um, they are all repairable with diamonds. It says how they're crafted. Uh, okay, so the super pickaxe, shovel, and hoe have a three times a three, a, a three by three working area, which means they don't just do one by one. It's three by three. Um, uh, the super axe will chop down the entire tree with one log block destroyed um it says max is 64 uh yada yada the super sword gives you a gives the target you hit a glowing weakness and poison effect for three seconds uh the cups are both multi-tools which means they can do literally everything um the cup ignites the target that you hit for five seconds so it lights on fire that's this boy right here um the special cup gives you give the target you hit wither effect and the glowing effect for five seconds and the super sickle which is this boy right here um works with a left and right click that cuts nine by nine areas of plants so literally amazing stuff um this is a really cool mod i've been had on the list to review for months now actually but i finally got around to it and i'm so glad i was able to use the non enough items mod because uh, i'm so hyped about that but that is going to do for today's mod showcase i hope you all did enjoy it if you did remember smash that like button show your support Subscribe if you are new. Do not forget to click on the notification button to stay notified anytime I upload a video. And also, again, if this mod hasn't been added yet, it will be featured in Project Neo eventually. So stay tuned for that. And stay tuned for a Project Neo episode after this going out later. And I'll see you guys there. Goodbye.